taking my medicine? And going to Metro Care was part of the agreement. Okay. Um, yeah, I go to Metro Care and uh, I did tell him I wanted to take my medicine. Well, you still didn't tell me about any of the other things. I'd like to have a support system on all the other things that I experienced. You just what? want to concentrate on the mental illness and, you know, I was doing something on my phone and you just want to concentrate on the mental illness. You know, um, what about the CPS thing that you told me that you were going to help me with? And then what makes you think that they that there's a problem with CPS because I wasn't paying? Not um, from the family place. Who told you that? That's not true. They won't call me back. And why would I? Why would you condone me having to pay to see my child? What oh, parent I'm do you know that has to pay to I'm, see their child? I'm not condoning nothing. But I mean, I was just like I said, I was just calling to let you well, know. Well, I, I mean, that you're my sister. It. You're my sister, and there's other issues. What I like to discuss that you said you were going to help me with the CPS issue, and there you know that they were trying to require me to pay to see my child. You said that after but, and, and I told you, and, and I can't and I can't help you there unless you give me power of attorney, and you're not willing to do that. So I well, can't I just because you're not today. addressing issues, and then you slide and set me up. They in the report it was like you were lying. I didn't not wasn't even there, and then the reporter said that not uh, I jumped on I and squeezed her. That didn't even happen. And that's a crime. So I'm just trying, okay. trying to get down to the bottom of things. You want me to take medication, but we're not discussing how someone pulled a gun on me, I, even though you said it's past the statute of limitations. And all the other chaos that I experienced, how, and you condone the police of harassing me and arresting me 17 times. Why would you condone that and just want me to take medicine? I've tried to I take called, the medicine. I, I called to talk about that one thing that I just told you. So it's up to you whether you want the I just don't understand but if you're my family member why I can't get love and support for being violated like I gave you. I never and covered you, for your abuse. And then you told you you couldn't discuss it. Just let me know. I don't know why I can't discuss the abuse with you and why you just want to call me and interrupt me and tell because me to take medication. Because I'm at work and it's time for me to go back. I oh, but you just called me and asked me if I want to take medication, interrupting me. And then, I, uh, you know what, Jeremiah just did the same thing. Each time that I have told you guys about me getting violated and how my life is in jeopardy, you have to go. And this I'm trying time. to, and I'm trying to help you with your, regardless what to your life being in jeopardy. I'm that medication is not going to help because I can still get trapped on trains in the phosphorus and set up. Okay, and then get well, harassed all the time. I've taken the medication. It didn't change. I was still violated. I still lost my apartment and a car and a job, but it, it didn't stop it on medication. Are you taking it? Are you taking it now? I don't understand why we're deflecting. I've already taken medication. It didn't change me from getting violated. Why can't we talk about me? Stop me getting violated. Why do an army full of people want me to take medication and get mental health treatment and leave me in jeopardy? That doesn't make sense. The whole other the thing that makes sense was to stop the violation. What, what, what doesn't make sense is like what Keon said. All these okay, years. Okay, I, I if you are going to I mean, cover for crimes year after year, I, can we not talk about this if you have to cover for it? She hung up in my face. 